Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit Now take me back to the day that you got put on, jumped in. You know, what was the whole, you know, energy, the vibe like that day? It was it, it was really uh was really actual like it was like you know it was basically like you've been called for this but this is the day that you're you're chosen this is your time and um you know we went to the cut and all that you know what I'm saying did my put on thirty seconds and all that did my thing and uh. So, not not only I'm a crip at heart now, but I'm a crip at heart, but also an official crip. And I had had my head head held high and all that. You know what I'm saying? Threw up the seat and walked with pride. And it was the best one of the it was one of the best feelings in my life because it, it for so long, you know. And now finally that day happened. And I was just really proud of myself. It was a decision that, you know what I'm saying, I've always wanted, you know what I'm saying, it was a choice I always wanted to do. It always, you know what I'm saying, like I said, Crip is what I am as a person. I'm not saying 100%, like, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't, it's not like my whole entire person, but like, you know what I'm saying, it's a huge piece of me. You know what I'm saying, like I am, Crip is part of me. Crip is a part of what I am, who I am. You know what I'm saying, it's part of my heart. You know, it was for thirty seconds. It felt like forever. It felt like a whole minute. Even though it was for thirty seconds, it was. It felt like a minute. You know, say it, it felt like a while. But you know, did my thing, and after it was all said and done, it just rolled on from there. Now you rarely, you know, most. I think you can agree with me that most gang members um, have grown up with one parent in the household usually uh, at least yeah. that's how it is out here you know it's it's mom you know pops is nowhere to be found that's you know kind of the story a- across the board you had both parents um so i'm curious yeah. you know i'm curious when your your parents found out you know that you were a crip you know what was their general reaction i mean i ain't gonna lie to you they knew in the back of their head you know like it was eventually going to happen because like just the way i was like to the kid. And not only that, just like family members, even outside, uh, like like I said, like they they knew that I was crip, you know what I'm saying? At heart, you know, like they they knew in the back of their head, you know what I'm saying? They just was like, you know, you know, you're passionate about this. Just make sure you don't, um, just make sure you watch yourself and make sure you do the right thing at the end of the day, you know? Because like I said, like um, a lot of sets really don't. Um, a lot of sets don't really operate the same way, you know, and the way my set operates, you know, it's like, we're really on a whole different type of timing from a lot of people. So I mean, like a lot of sets, like we're really trying to be productive in our shit, you know what I'm saying? We're really trying to give back. We plan every day about how we want to give back to our families and loved ones. And um, eventually our communities. When were you most active? You know what ages did you say it was really on and popping with you? With me, I would say, like, I was, like, really active out there, like, around 15. Mm-hmm. Definitely 15. Mm-hmm. At that time, I was just a wild-ass dude. You know, I was just, like, buck wild. I was just, uh, like, I, I was, like, an instigator, and I was, like, starting fights school and all that but it wasn't like towards bloods or anything like that at first it was like actually in fact not at all but i was really starting fights with these racist white dudes that went to school with me in middle school and all that it's kind of crazy because you know where we are it's a very diverse uh area and the fact that we still have racists that go to school with us you know what i'm saying we're surrounded by a whole whole bunch of races it's just like mind-blowing you know yeah i had a race ride in my school too ninth grade man yeah ninth grade 
Yeah. yeah, that was yeah, that was the grade I was in when I was like really um, you know what I'm saying, just being all like doing my thing, you know. Mm-hmm. But that was when I was like in this. That was when I was in the in that in that crew I was mentioning. Okay, what happened was you know, um, this loyalty, you know, common the usual thing, uh, this loyalty, you know what I'm saying, the backstabbing and all that. So I did my own thing on my own, and just how it went what's the uh, what's the gang culture like now in 2021 in the dmv um we talked about this in in the last uh, episode with you trey and um swift where i got a comment in my in my comments man there ain't no crips and bloods in washington dc there ain't no crips and blood what what's the gang what's the what's the culture like what's um you know do you see gangs growing do you see a growing presence like talk to me about what's going on in 2021 now i'm gonna tell you i'm, I'm gonna tell you like that first of all that comment ha <laughs> i'm about to tell you I'm, I'm about to tell you how it is right now a lot of shit that's been on the ground all that's happening now is that it's finally coming on into the light you know what i'm saying like i said it took a long time for it to really hit but now it's really hitting here you so, know like, we're now, like, officially getting our start, to be honest with you. Because before, like I said, you had people that was going out of town and bringing it back, or they just know where to look at. Like, you had very, 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 very few sets out here, you know. Other than that, you had people that were just, like, you know what I'm saying, that looked similar into that, but they were just repping their little crew or all that. But now the actual shit is happening. And um, before that, even around that same time back in the day, there were crips out here and shit, but they were real, to be honest with you, like some, a few, some of them were doing that eight ball, you know, some of them were doing that eight ball. Like I'm talking about like, explain where, that again. Yeah. Just for the people out there. I'm, who I'm talking about, talk about. I, 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 some of them were doing that eight ball, which is basically like when the crips and the GDs, you know what I'm saying? Um, put their signs together, you know what I'm saying? Chris was referenced the six point star and all that, you know, Crips like me and like, you no know, saying Crips that are tapped into the land and all that, you know, we say those Crips are either misguided or we just call them straight up GDs because, you know what I'm saying? Crips never really never rep the stars or anything like that. We always identified ourselves with the line and the turf that we push in and all that. We never identify with the star, you know that that like I remember a blood actually told me about that. Um, uh, well, this was back when I was in high school too. A blood told me about the star, and he was like involved and said that was out in New York, or whatever. But he told me about the star, and I was like, "What is that?" And he basically explained to me what it was, and I was like, "I've never heard that shit in my entire life because like I was all like me." You know, I, I'm from the DMV area. I was always influenced by the West Coast culture. Like, I've always been um, intact with it, like, from the music to the to the style, you know. I've always been, like, um, influenced by the West Coast culture, you know. So just hearing that, that East, like, you know what I'm saying? We call that, that that East Coast stuff. When we hear that, it was, like, when I heard that, it was very very odd to me i was just like what and then come to find out there were crips that were doing the eight ball and all that but i just chose to stay away from that because it wasn't familiar to me and i just felt like you know there might be some repercussions to that if they came across like if they were to come across like actual crips that were um actually tapped into the land and all that because the actual crypts that were tapping into the land, they they basically view that as um, as milk, and basically that's basically fake. 